This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. What's up you guys, this is Insanity and today we're learning what I like to call the shoulder swipe. Now the reason I call it the shoulder swipe is because it's very similar to the head swipe except we are landing on our shoulder. Now if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys catch up on my back rock tutorials because that will give you the basic knowledge on how to do this move. Alright, without further ado, let's get down to the floor. Alright you guys, so I'd like to say that this move is actually rather easy, especially if you guys have mastered the basic back rocks, it should be no sweat at all, alright? So what we're going to actually do is I'm going to take you guys from a basic back rock. Again, if you guys haven't learned that, make sure you guys click on the tutorial, learn how to do that first. We're going to start off with a basic back rock, alright? We're going to lay on our backs, we're going to lift up, we're going to turn with our arms, and we're going to land on our left foot, alright? Goes here. Up, oh, and land here. Alright, at this point, it is important that you guys know how to do a shoulder freeze. Because basically, all we're going to do is from here, we're going to plant our hand, lift up, shoulder freeze. All right? I would recommend doing something pretty easy, something you can hold, no problem. Um, don't try to do something too fancy yet, because you might not be able to hold it. Alright, let's try that again. Laying on our backs, lifting up. All right, and turning over. Ready, and go. Here, and lift up. All right, that's basically the motion we want to get comfortable with. And make sure you guys tie your shoes, um, just in case for safety purposes. So once you guys get that down, once you guys get a little bit comfortable, reaching over and jumping up, basically we want to just skip that step of letting our foot land, and we just hold our freeze up in the air. Before we jump into this, I'm gonna talk you guys through the process. You're basically gonna jump, reach over, and basically pull your legs and body straight to that position where you're holding the freeze, All right? Now you have a familiar position and a familiar turn. You just literally have to take yourself from point A to point B, all right? This being point A, this being point B, all right? And again, that baby step really is gonna help you guys out. So going from here, to here, to here. It's really gonna kinda teach you guys the motion of getting over and then lifting up. And then basically, step two is we cut that out, lift up, stop. All right? The reason why I connect this to the back rock because it is literally just an expansion of the back rock. So now, the last step, now that you guys can get your legs up, you can do your freeze. Now we're gonna think about leg position. All right, and there's a lot of different things you guys could do. You just gotta get a little bit creative with it. So I recommend watch my leg position video and get some ideas for that. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys are training hard. Make sure you guys click on the links for more tutorials on footwork and back rocks. And I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, peace.